Welcome fellow collectors and friends. You have joined me for another brand new review here on Diecast Emporium. You may have just finished watching my review of the 4700 dump truck. Well, this is its cousin. This is the 4700 setback cement mixer. Now again, I went into illicit detail in my review during the dump truck review, so I won't go into too much detail here. But a quick recap for those that may not have seen the dump truck review yet. These are Ertl models in name only. This was a joint effort um, by Ertl and Diecast Masters. These trucks were actually Diecast Masters toolings that were produced by Diecast Masters in the Diecast Masters factory. So they have the same kind of quality, detail, and function you'd come to expect from a Diecast Masters transport series product with the Ertl name on the box, on the packaging, that is all. So we will keep it short to that. If you want any more information, click on the link at the top of your screen now, and you can watch the dump truck review. Taking a look at the box, transitioning now to the unboxing again. They are shipped in white outer shipping boxes. Here you can see the outer number, 16400, Western Star 4700 set back. Of course, that side has a different language. Here we can see what I just read off to you in English. All you have to do is cut one end of the tape, which you can do either side. I have cut this end to keep things simple and for time constraints. Doing that unveils the pull-apart or shoebox style packaging. Again, very, very familiar to collectors who have ever purchased a Diecast Masters Transport Series model. Here's the Western Star logo, so you can see that it is an officially licensed Western Star product. These are adult collectibles recommended for any collectors over the age of 14. 150th scale die-cast metal replica, Western Star 4700 SB concrete mixer. Now, SB, obviously, for those that uh, may not be aware, SB is the axle, the front axle configuration, so SB would be set back front axle. Concrete mixer, prestige collection, Ertl and the parent company, Tomai. Again, a quick recap. It is an Ertl product in name only. This is truly a Diecast Masters model. This side of the box, you have three different pictures depicting a little bit of the model's functionality. We will get into that once we talk about the functionality aspect of this review. Bottom of the box, some more technical information. And really, the only thing that you need to know or of any significant importance is this little picture, which again shows... If this is your first model of this type, there are two exhaust stack tip options provided, and it shows you how to put them into the exhaust stack tips. Again, I will show you how to do that. All right, put your finger in the supplied finger hole. The top layer of the box has the aforementioned two exhaust stack tips and a chute extension for the concrete chute. Bottom layer of black foam rubber has what you really want to see, and that's the Western Star Concrete Mixer. Be careful what you grab onto. These models are very fragile. Lift it up, and with that, your model is free and out of the box. All right, we have a bit of optional assembly to knock out of the way real quick. Let's not waste any more time. Let's put one of our two optional exhaust stack tips on. You see the hole here on the exhaust stack. Let's drop in our exhaust stack tip. And you do that by dropping it into the hole. Of course, you can angle it to the rear or to the front if you want to be a rebel. It's completely up to you. It's your model. Moving on to the rear. So here is our concrete chute where, of course, the concrete would come out. Here are two holes on the back of the concrete chute extension. You can see that there. So these hook over the two knobs at the back. So let's do this quickly. You can see they hook over and click in. And with that, your optional assembly is complete. You may remember at the start of this video, I said that these were a pair of models, and that means, of course, that there is a dump truck as well to go with the cement mixer. Really, the only way these two deviate, aside from, of course, one is a mixer and one is a dump truck, is the front axle configuration. So the dump truck has a set forward front axle with a little bit different bumper design to accommodate that front axle. So you, you can see how it's kind of flat in the front. If you look at the cement mixer, which has a set back front axle, you can see that the bumper is not straight and edges off to both sides. So there you go. You can see that even though they both are 4700s, they do have the illusion of two different trucks. Wanted to get that out there in case there are collectors that wanted to know or wanted to buy both models. 
All right, let's take a look at the details and decals. Really all you need to know about these two models, in my opinion and in my opinion only, I think the paint and the use of silver or gray decals really looks good on these trucks, particularly this almost like eagle or wing decal on the side of the cab looks really good against the black flake paint of the cab. Again, we'll try to get that to come across on camera. It is a little hard to see, but there is some flaking and metallic flake in the paint on the black. Again, A plus looks really, really good. Other decals include running lights throughout. You have chrome, whether they be your mirrors, uh, your air horns, a grab handle here, various different tanks. Moving along, there is a fair amount of plastic used. It almost feels like that there's actually more plastic used in this concrete mixer than I've ever seen on any of the other transport series models. I wonder if Ertl requested just some of the small detail parts that normally would be functional uh, would actually not be functional on this model. I will give you one example, and that is the access stairs, which normally would fold down uh, on this concrete mixer or really any other concrete mixer you'd get from Diecast Masters. This one does not. It is stationary. Bear that in mind. Again, chrome wheels look great wrapped in some black rubber. At the rear, you can see various painted on lights and turn indicators. Some of them are decaled. Rubber mud flaps with the Western Star logo. On the right side of the machine, other details include a chute extension on the right side. Of course, that's not present on the left. Also not present on the left, but on the right is your single exhaust stack uh, with the exhaust stack tip that you saw me install. Now, this chute extension, I believe, is not meant to come off. I believe this is just molded into the casting. However, if you want to make it come off, a skill collector could probably do so. So that is the details and decals on the cement mixer. Let's turn our attention now to functionality. Working from front to rear, we begin taking a look at the functionality of the cab of the truck. The doors to the cab do not open, but the hood does. And doing so reveals a somewhat detailed engine and other various mechanical components. Thankfully, steering has been modeled, and you can get it at pretty much any angle. However, it seems to clash more on these uh, this style axle setup on the truck, which of course is the setback axle style. Particularly when you want to turn the truck right, it seems to clash more on the fender. See here? Seems to clash. So your turning right angle seems to be restricted a bit more than if you turn to the left. You can see you can get a much better angle. Okay, moving along. I already mentioned the lack of functionality with the drop-down ladder that you normally get. You can spin the drum freely. The drum itself is plastic, so you can get some quick rotation if you want to. Moving along now to the rear of the concrete mixer. I already put the concrete chute extension on. As you can see, I now have it folded, which for... You can do for transport mode if the truck is traveling to the job site. But we're at site now, so let's go ahead and flip this thing down, which I use with my handy-dandy pointer tool here. Again, a lot of the newer Diecast Masters Transport Series trucks will have additional chute extensions. This model, or at least the one that was provided to me, only has a single add-on chute extension. Again, bear that in mind. But as you can see, you can swing it from left to right and vice versa. And additionally, you can fold it up if you want to. There also is a little bit of play with height right underneath here. So it will slightly go up and down. That is basically all of the functionality of the Diecast Masters slash Ertl Western Star 4700 setback concrete mixer in one to 50 scale. This is a fantastic model in all honesty. Although some shortcuts were taken in order for these to be produced at a slightly discounted price for Ertl, they are fantastic and great models. And the good thing about these being priced slightly lower is that they may be able to appear to appeal rather to some collectors who otherwise would not be able to afford some of the more premium models. Those are my opinions and my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of the Western Star Concrete Mixer and also the Western Star Dump Truck commissioned by Ertl, but manufactured by Diecast Masters. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next review.